Hey everybody, it's Julian and Evie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. Hanging out with Bob Marley here and I wanted to go ahead and sit down and do a California flea market plant haul. So this is from my local flea market here in town in Los Angeles and I go to it from time to time. It is open every Sunday but the original location that I wanted to go to for Sunday's flea market was in Pasadena, but the rain was really bad. My trainer, my old coworker, um, she didn't want to go to Pasadena because of the rain. We didn't hit up that flea market. We hit up our local flea market, which is about, I want to say like 10 miles or so from me. And it happens every Sunday. And I featured this one in my Come With Me series before, but I went out in the pouring rain with Evi, with my vlog camera, and I brought my friend slash trainer along with me my old co-worker shannon with me she's never seen me do anything for my channel she hasn't seen me vlog or do plants so it was definitely like something very new for her she's only seen me do pilates so it was fun to bring her along and thank you shannon if you so happen to be watching this um she's not into plants but she was a good sport and she tagged along with me so thanks so much we had a nice girls day afternoon in the pouring rain so i want to talk about the plant babies that i got because literally we walked out with a handful of babies so thank you shannon for being two extra hands and helping me carry all these plants back to my car in the pouring rain so i hope you guys enjoy these plant hauls and i love going to my local flea markets and picking up plants because i don't know to me it's like I have so much joy and so much fun getting them at a local flea market more than say like at a big box store that's just my opinion um, so I want to go ahead and talk about the plants that I picked up from two vendors one is a vendor that I go to all the time he's always there and then there was another vendor that I went to so if you watch my come with me uh, to this flea market you'll see uh, the plant vendors I'm talking about I've never seen the second one before and I asked how long they, have they been um, coming to this particular flea market and they said only for the past four months so it was really fun to see a new plant vendor and i got so many cool plants so let's so, go ahead and talk about the first plant vendor that i went to which is like my go-to plant vendor and the first thing that i seen when i walked into his stall were two plants i ended up picking them up so i know i talked about this plant before or seen it before Catherine has it this is the kangaroo paw fern i wanted this for a long time i love ferns i collect them i have a rabbit's foot fern in my shower this one is on the opposite side of the shower rod so now there's like total green vibes right above my shower and i really really like it so here is what it looks like and i don't know if i'm going to repot it just because if I hang it on top of my shower rod, I can't have it in like a heavy terracotta plant. What I'm going to do for this is eventually put it in a white nursery planter so that it's on the light side because I can't have any heavy things hanging from my shower rod. It's going to fall. So stay tuned. I can't wait to pot them up. Maybe I can do them both at the same time. My plan for this particular fern and my rabbit's foot fern is put them in a white nursery planter that I, you know, get through my collection purchasing plants and hang them back on the shower curtain rod because I can't have anything heavy hanging on that rod. It'll fall down. So stay tuned for upcoming planting with Julian. I love ferns a lot and it definitely gives me like urban jungle vibes. So finally invested in that fern. I'm gonna talk about the second plant that I got. And this was actually when I went back to pick up my two plants. I ended up walking away with this. So I got another sense of area. This actually came in a smaller pot, but it was just way too small and the soil was soaking wet from the rain. So I just put it in a bigger nursery planter. I'm gonna go ahead and probably put it in a white ice cream planter is what I'm thinking. I'm not sure. As you can see, I mean, there are some tips that kind of got damaged from the rain. I'm gonna go ahead and prune it off. I'm not worried because I had took it out right away and placed it in dry soil. So hopefully it's going to be okay. Since the barriers are on the hardy side and I love this. It's so cute and mini and it's definitely another sense of area added to my collection. So happy I was able to scoop this one up. There was like one more plant that I purchased from that vendor but I'm going to save it for last because I'm really stoked about that one. So let's move along to the second plant vendor. And I picked up eight succulents which they're really cool. So let's go ahead and grab the first tray. So here is the first tray and at first I thought I was going to get four. And then I couldn't control myself and I couldn't breathe so I ended up getting four more and then I felt better about myself. Thumbs up the video if you know what I mean. I was just like on a plant high and I had to go home with more plants. Do I need any of these plants? No because a lot of them are repeats. Now here's the first one I want to talk about. 
I don't know what kind of Echeveria this is. So if you do know, sound off down below. I love collecting them and there's lots of babies here. There's one baby and then maybe if I pull it out, there's another one. But for sure, I see one here. But do you see like those pinky tips? Mm. I had to get this one. I was like, yes, you're coming home with me. Now, I have this. I have a bunch of them. They came in a bundle for my $25 challenge haul for my Las Vegas edition, if you guys remember that. And it came, I have a bunch. But are they this big? I don't know. Probably not. I have to go and double check. But I couldn't pass this up. Again, see, I have the plant and I have a bunch of them. But because it was really big and chunky and weird, and then you can see there's two babies over here, I was like, ooh, I have you. And I have a lot of you, but I don't have this one. You're coming home with me. So we'll see. Maybe I'll put them all together and they can be one family. I don't know. And then look down here. There's even another baby here coming. I don't know. I have this plant and I wanted to get it. So I got another one. Now this guy here is the Portulaca Molokinesis. I already have this and I picked it up from a plant nursery that I stopped by in, I think, Santa Clarita, I think. I'm not sure. It was a come with me that I did with Evelyn on the way to San Diego. We stopped by there. If you guys remember my come with me and I picked one up and that was like the first time I've ever seen that plant in person. And then after that, I started seeing it like at plant shows and stuff like that. But I, this is like the first time I've ever seen it at a flea market, I believe. I don't know, but I feel like it is. Anyway, I was like, I love this plant. I have it. I want more. So here I am buying more. So I don't know. Maybe I might put them all together like the Gasterias. Now here's another Peperomia. Now, this does not look like mine. And I didn't, did I share it? Maybe I did in my Peperomia edition for Jolin's Collective. I might have added this particular Peperomia in there. I'm not sure. But mine is really skinny and leggy. Not as chunky and, um, you know, vibrant like this. It'd be interesting to put mine and my new ones side by side. But these ones are a lot bigger, thicker, and brighter. So I was like, you know what? My Peperomia doesn't look like this and it got ruined by the rain. I'm going to buy more. So I see that two fell off and I'm just going to leave it here and it will eventually propagate itself. But take a look at this. It is so adorable. So again, look, just in this little tray here, three out of four I already had, but I wanted more for X, Y, and Z reasons. And I will do that from time to time, even if it's just like a slight little different characteristic. It calls me and I have to bring it home. So who knows? Maybe I might join them together. I'm not sure. But I definitely wanted to go ahead and add these to my collection because why In the not? second tray, and I'll go ahead and I'll lift it up here. I don't have any of these. Or maybe I do. Not sure. I want to talk about the first one. And I'm kind of bummed out because he got ruined by being in transit, as you can see. But he looked like this when I picked him up. But it's okay. Maybe we can propagate you. Okay. Can you guys check him out? Can you tell me what this is? It's almost like it's soft and almost like gummy. Like, I don't know. I've never seen this succulent before. It gives me like a propeller vibe. I've never seen this specimen before. It is so interesting to me. Have you been around for a while and I've never seen you before? I don't know. He needs a name. He's super cool. And I'm so sorry about his leg, but you know, it was pouring rain and the way how they had packed it in the bag and we were running in the rain and then being in transit in my car to here, it just happened. So I should have been a, a little bit more careful, but it's okay. I'll live. One, two, three, four, five, five babies. Kind of interested to take him out, see what the root system looks like and put him in a cute planter. He's definitely a weird one. I love weird ones. Really cool. I'm gonna do like a weird, a weird ones collection video. I think all of my weird cactus succulents, they should be featured because I think they're really cool conversation pieces. So sound off down below. I mean, look at how gummy and succulent Mike he is. He's so cool. Now this is kind of like a Della Sperma type plant. And it looks like there was some kind of bloom happening here. 
and it kind of looks like the one I have but not really because this one is a lot more fuller um, because my original one that I do have is like this but more spaced out and not as full maybe it's the same plant and this one is just a little bit more mature I don't know let me know down in the comments below and um, I definitely wanted to go ahead and add this to my collection it's really funky and something that you would see maybe like under a succulent sea if there was such thing you can see there's like a little baby here interested to see how well these do with me because this particular style of succulents they're like a hit and miss with me but I love the deep dark tones and the little fuzzies on them so I wanted to go ahead and pick it up and it definitely like stands out from everything that I purchased in this haul so here's the last one and this is like a string of buttons like a variegated one I don't know he's super cool he starts off green and then tapers into variegated I don't know he's really awesome and they're on the hardy side so I was like okay this should be okay with the rain if it gets like really rained on who knows I think I have some string of buttons here from either plant friends or I purchased them and they're doing fine so I don't have variegated ones so I wanted to get some I think they look really cool starting green and then on the top part it's variegated so let me know if any of you have any of these succulents if you can help me out with the names that'd be awesome so i ended up walking away from that last plant vendor with four succulent babies a lot of them i already have and a lot of them i've never seen and wanted to get so finally got some new babies and you know what when it comes to succulents i love collecting succulents as much as I love collecting cacti and houseplants, I can't pick and choose because when I look at these, they make me happy just as much as houseplants and even with the cacti. So let me know down in the comments below, do you collect all three or do you like maybe just houseplants or maybe just succulents? I don't know. I mean, I love them all. They're just so cute. And when I walk past succulents, sometimes I just can't help myself like, hmm, should I invest my plant money in a houseplant? or a new cacti because cacti can be really expensive or should I get a succulent that costs a couple dollars hmm something to think about all right guys are you ready for the last big plant baby for this flea market plant haul take a look at this rad sense of area it is so cool it is big it is weird it is crazy and it is heavy I don't know guys this feels like 20 pounds maybe I don't know it's heavy I'll give it a spin so you can see what it looks like I don't have this sense of area and I've been looking at this guy everywhere I go that carries him I'm like okay should I invest in you or not or should I wait should I get you now because he's a weird one he's definitely a weird one but then if you collect sense of varies you want them and you want them all so look there's tons of babies I'm gonna try to propagate this on my next planting with Chulin, see if I can maybe take it apart. I don't know. He's cool, he's interesting, he's weird. Let's see if I have a white planter. But guys, like I got two Sensevarias in today's plant haul. I love it, I love it so much. Sound off down below if you have any of the plant babies. What do you think about my newest Sensevaria? He definitely needs a name. I don't know, he definitely needs a name. He's a character. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. What do you guys think about my local flea market? Because you know, it's like a hit or miss. The, the flea market that I went to the week before on that Sunday in Pasadena, never been to that one before and I was so bummed out if you watch it come with me. There's only one plant vendor. This local flea market in Los Angeles. I, have, I rarely go to it, but when I do, I always pick up plants. And I think this past Sunday, there was only two plant vendors. Also, let me know down in the comments below, what is your favorite flea market to go to in your city? And do you find plants there is that where you go to shop for plants i'm really interested because every city i love going to flea markets whether it's for vintage thrifting or for plants or just to see like the culture of the city um, every city is different and every flea market is different so you know like the week before in the pasadena flea market that i never been to before there was only one plant nursery which was so sad and then when i went to this flea market this past sunday with the heavy rain i think i maybe seen two maybe two and a half plant vendors so it varies. Sometimes I see more than five. But stay tuned. I'll be doing more come with me's to local flea markets. I hope you guys enjoy the come with me to the flea markets and the plant halls. It's one of my favorite places to buy plants. 
and stay tuned for planting with julian episode i'm so glad i was able to get two more sense of areas guys so let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite plant in today's video and before i go ahead and end today's video i definitely want to do a plant friend shout out and this is going to go to Fabi Collin and she posted this up this morning and she says here this is in my one of my planting with julian my diy propagation greenhouse she says here wow i love this propagation video i lost my dad a year ago and definitely miss him he was so active in our lives my dog and plants have been very therapeutic for my soul god bless you and your family julian um Fabi Collin, thank you so much for leaving that comment um i definitely find plants very therapeutic helping me with my papa's passing just being out here by myself and you know i work every day so coming home to my plants and doing anything plant related and having ebby in my life has definitely helped me with my grandpa's passing and also like my two dogs passed away too that I had to put to sleep which was really hard for me and that all went down in Hawaii so having Abby around and my plants around and seeing plant life and coming home to this every day with me working every day really kind of like sets a mood for me and being able to share content on my channel daily with you guys also is very therapeutic for me so i hope you guys enjoy my daily content and if you're new welcome to my channel hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads i do daily videos on this channel and weekly vlogs Vlog channel i'd like to post up at least once a week right now i have my egypt content going up there every couple of days i have three of the videos up now so if you haven't watched any of my egypt content head over to miss julian that is my vlog channel and you can see all of the adventures that i was up to while i was in egypt the three videos that i just posted up recently are good and i can't wait to go through the rest so stay tuned thank you guys so much for supporting my channel i'll see you guys tomorrow you can find more on my blog at elojulian.blogspot.com until next time aloha from santa monica california bye mm -hmm.